In Diablo 2, most of the unique items you will find will be things your character wears, but if you're exceptionally lucky, or in the case of some of these items, able to farm certain enemies, you can gain access to different types of uniques, so today we're going to cover those, namely the 8 unique jewels and the 3 unique charms. Starting with the most popular, the unique charms, we have the only two non-quest uniques that require killing a specific enemy to find, with the first being the small charm Annihilus, commonly called Annie. This charm gives you plus to all skills, as well as a decent but variable chunk of attributes, resistances, and even bonus experience gain and is often considered standard gear for most truly post-game builds. The way you get this is by slaying Uber Diablo, a heavily modified version of the normal Diablo that spawns only in Hell difficulty games after its conditions have been met. For single player, this is selling a singular Stone of Jordan while you're in Hell difficulty. For online, this occurs after a certain number of Stones of Jordan have been sold on a given server. After this condition has been met, he will spawn at the next super unique location you trigger, so be prepared to fight a rather tough boss. Similarly, we have the Hellfire Torch, the result of the Pandemonium event, a challenge that you have much more control of, with plus 3 to a specific class's skills as well as a variable boost to stats and resistances. It is highly sought after and is sometimes a source of confusion among new players since it triggers Diablo's Firestorm on striking, which can be unexpected if you don't know about this item. Now to get this, you must kill Uber Mephisto, Bale, and Diablo in the Uber Tristram dungeon as part of the Pandemonium event, which frankly deserves a guide in and of itself, but the short version is you farm keys from the Countess, the Summoner, and Neelithak, and then you use those keys to open portals to the three Uber dungeons, where you destroy upgraded versions of Andariel, Duriel, and Iswal to get the items you need access to Uber Tristram. Now, those organs are quite a journey to get in them themselves, but overall the entire thing is just going to take a very long time, but it is well worth it in the end, provided you're lucky enough to get the torch flavor you need for the class you need. The last of the unique charms is thankfully far less convoluted to find, but does require a lot more luck since it is just a random drop like any other unique, and that is Geed's Fortune, the fairly well known but overshadowed magic find grand charm that is also used extensively for gambling in the late game thanks to the vendor price reduction, and it's pretty handy while you're still farming uniques and sets for your characters. Moving on to the jewels, they all share one name, Rainbow Facet, and as you can guess, can be any color available to normal jewels, so don't count on them matching. It's also worth noting they can only spawn exceptionally late in the game, leading to their additional rarity, with the most common farming locations for them being, well, Hell Travancle, Chaos Sanctuary, and sometimes Worldstone Keep is another common farming one if you have a build for it, though they can drop in any high level area if you're lucky enough to get a jewel drop that turns unique. These jewels come in two flavors and four elements, but all share the same basic design principle. A trigger effect, a raw elemental bit of damage, plus two element skill damage, and a minus to enemy element resist. As you can see with this lightning charm, which is of the death flavor, it gives a 100% chance to cast chain lightning when you die, a chunk of lightning damage, and the plus damage and minus resist for lightning. It's all one flavor. It functions much like the Sorcerer's Masteries too, as far as how the mechanics go. And of course, each of the other elements have similar death effects, with cold giving you level 37 blizzard when you die, fire giving you a level 31 meteor when you die, poison giving you a level 51 poison nova when you die, and of course all the other standard effects, though as you may have noticed, the percents do vary, so obviously people will prefer the perfect five fives, but they're all perfectly usable, especially if you're doing solo self-found and just want to use something nice. The other common flavor is the level up variant of each jewel, whose stats are mostly identical, but instead of an on death effect, they give you a level up effect. For example, lightning gives you a level 41 nova, while cold gives you a similar frost nova, but fire and poison give you a more lasting effect with fire giving you a level 29 blaze on level up, and poison giving you a level 23 venom. Individually, they're not exceptionally potent, but when combined with the right builds, they give significantly more punch and are a lot more useful than they first appear. Though that said, they are exceptionally rare and will end up locking a piece of equipment into being mostly useful only to one element of build, but they're still very nice to have around for that element of build. So despite being limited, these special uniques are still quite useful and powerful, and I really hope that with the development of Resurrected, they hopefully will add more, but only time will tell if that comes true. That said, if you could add some unique charms and or jewels, what would they be and what needs would they fill? 
Mention them down below and they might actually make their way into a suggestion video I have planned. And as always, thanks for the support and keep gaming, have fun, and peace out.